What's up guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Yak Pack Outdoors and another episode within the 30 day challenge, the 30 day video challenge. All right, today's episode is actually gonna be pretty special, right? So this is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be using a Deep Creek Lures Senko, a sinking catch, okay? Same as, it is just a Senko, that's what it is. Just made by Deep Creek Lures. I uh, love their stuff, so that's what I'm gonna be using in today's video. We're gonna be using a Wu Tungsten 1 8 ounce weight and we're gonna be using a, I believe it is a Strike King one eighth ounce tungsten weight okay and i'm gonna be comparing so basically if you guys don't know anything about wood tungsten uh they're like super durable super resistant to scratches and just getting beat up and you know let's say your tungsten weight's got all kinds of scratches and stuff on it could there be a possibility of it like fraying your line and whatnot yeah i mean it's possible anything's possible you know so i'm actually gonna this is concrete right this is a pool right here this is concrete I'm gonna show you guys why a tungsten weight and a glass ball is key to fishing around really thick grass and the noise it's able to make and attract those fish as we come right up on this uh, bed fishing season. That little glass ball is, is something that I don't really see a lot of people use. I mean, I'm gonna point two things out to you uh, specifically in the video. One of them is it makes it look even more creature-like. It makes it look like that Senko's got an eyeball. And another thing, when that tungsten hits that glass, it just makes a noise that a lot of fish really aren't used to hearing because not a lot of people use it. At least I don't see a lot of people use it. Okay, but like I said, we're gonna scratch those two weights on the concrete and we're gonna see if they actually are, you know, scratch resistant, like they say, which uh, I can vouch for Wu Tungsten because I've, I've, I've put some Wu Tungsten through the works and it's, and it's held up, but I don't know about the Strike King stuff. Anyways, we got a helicopter up there right now, so I'm gonna shut this off. All right, that helicopter's gone, thank goodness, because then things, phew, they get loud. We're like in the direct path of these things. Anyways, listen, guys, if this is the first video from Yak Pack Outdoors that you're ever seeing, all right, do me a favor. Take your left or the right thumb. Doesn't matter which one because it's free. Thumb punch that red subscribe button, okay? Turn that notification bell on. That way you can be notified every single time I upload a video, which is the next 30 days in a row because this is a video, again, in the 30-day uh, video challenge. With all that being said, guys, let's get set up and let's find out how tough Wu tungsten is. All right, guys, this is that glass ball I was talking about, right? So you just rig up a regular Texas rig. All right, you put your tungsten on first. I don't have mine pegged. I don't, I don't really believe in pegging weights unless you're going through some really thick, nasty stuff. Then you put your glass ball on, and then you, uh, you tie your hook on. Obviously, you put your worm, your worm on after that. But see how this could look like an eyeball, right? You, you guys see what I'm saying? It looks like an eyeball to uh, you know an unsuspecting fish that's just getting a glance at it like, that I mean to me that's very unique that looks very cool but I'm anxious to scratch these weights really quick so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these two weights I got the strike king right here the Wu tungsten over there tied up and we're gonna take these on this concrete and you guys are gonna see firsthand you guys are gonna see it here live we're gonna scratch these weights and see how resistant they are to, to actually getting scratched like that that could you know potentially that could, that's a big deal like I said it could fray your line and you know random things like that could happen at any time you never know but uh, let me get set up on the tripod really quick. <laughs> That's my little girl. She's something else. All right, so check this out. We've got the Strike King right here, and we've got the Wu Tungsten right here. One thing that I'm going to point out to you guys really quick, I'm going to show you guys this closer up. You can tell which one is which because the Strike King one is like this glossy black, and the Wu Tungsten, uh, both in their green pumpkin color and their solid black color, it's like this matte color. And I really... Personally, I like this matte black better than this gloss. That's just my personal opinion. There's, I don't think there's any strategic difference in the two uh, color scheme wise, but uh, I, I prefer that matte. But check this uh, color difference out. All right, so we got the Strike King right here. Clearly, you can tell the difference. That's this uh, really glossy color. And the Wu Tungsten right here, which is the, uh, the matte black color, like I was saying. All right, well, now for the scratch test. All right, so we're going to take the, uh, the Strike King first. And basically what we're going to do is we're just going to rub it on this concrete. So what this is going to imitate is the uh, the fish's like sandpaper grit type like lips or mouth. Uh, it, it's going to eventually take, you know, put some wear and tear on these on these tungsten weights. So, oh my goodness, off the rip, look at this. You can tell, I mean that's, look at that, the paint just comes right off. Like, alright. Now, what we're going to do, same thing right here, no cuts in the video, we're going straight to the Wu Tungsten. And... I know you guys can hear that. All right, so what we got here? Let me get that a little closer for you guys to see. I'm trying to roll it in my hand or but not lose it. 
So, not 100% of scratch resistant. But I mean, that has fared. These are these are not abrasions like deep into the uh, the the lure. Or these are not abrasions deep into the uh, the weight itself. There's no paint to chip off because this is the color that you get. Let's compare it to this one. Let's just put both of them in our hands. I mean, just look at the difference, guys. Like that's that's insane. That's crazy. All right, guys, it's getting dark. We're running out of daylight, but again, this is what I, this is exactly what I wanted to show you guys. Listen on the GoPro. Listen to the sound. I'm gonna shut my mouth. I'm not gonna talk. Listen to the sound of when this tungsten hits this glass ball, and when I move this Senko around, when I move this Texas rig around. Listen to what it sounds like. This is something for you guys if you, uh, you know, if you don't use weights or if you don't use the little beads. The glass ball is what I call them. I think they're just little beads. But just listen to what it sounds like. I'm gonna be quiet when I move this thing so you guys can hear it. So basically what it's doing, every single time that tungsten weight contacts that little bead, it's going to make this like, this little tick type sound. I can't really put my finger on what exactly the sound is, but it makes this little tick type sound. And it's going to, naturally, it's going to attract fish. All right, one more time. You guys should have been able to hear that really really good i'll tell you what i wanted to make this video a little bit longer all right i wanted to go a little bit more in depth so if you want to see that let me know down in the comments below okay because as you can see i'm running out of daylight right here when you run out of daylight it just doesn't look as good in the camera so before that happens i'm going to go ahead and end this video from what i showed you guys today should be substantial enough now this is not a paid video this is not a sponsored video okay but i do have a a link in the description i'll actually bump it up to the top if you guys want to use it uh, if you use that code, it's YAKPAK10. You can get 10% off uh, your entire order at Wu Tungsten. So we'll go ahead and we'll put that at the top of the link. Again, I'm not paid by them to say this, uh, you know, sponsored, whatever. Like, they're not doing any of that. You know, I'm not getting any percentage of this whatsoever. I just, what I preach on this channel, if I think something's good, I'm going to tell you it's good. If I, if I think it's not good, I'm going to tell you it's not good. I take a lot of pride in this channel and, and the honesty that I'm able to actually bring to you guys. You know, I'm not paid by anybody to say anything, and I'll take a lot of pride in that. But anyways, thank you again for watching, guys. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And if you are new here to this channel, like I said at the beginning of the video, don't forget to take your thumbs left or the right. It doesn't matter because it's free. Thumb punch that red subscribe button, guys. Turn that notification bell on. That way you can be notified every single time I upload a video. With all that being said, thank you again for watching, guys, and we'll catch y'all next time.